Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's C Sharp Fundamental video, we're going to cover operators. Now, I do want to touch on one thing that there's quite a lot of operators, and I'm not going to be able to cover all of those in this single video. But what I want to do is give you a kind of overlying understanding of operators, and we'll group these into groups into specific groups. So um, let's just go over the first and we'll start working through them. So I'm gonna group this one into assignment operators. And this is what we've already seen when we set a variable, a property or an index, but typically we've been set in variables. What I say int num equals being the assignment operator of 10. So all I've done here is I've set number to equal 10. I'm also going to use another assignment operator of equals to say int number 2 equals, there we are, we'll say 20. So here I've set this variable to the value of 20 using the assignment operator of equals. Nice and easy, stuff we've seen before. Now let's get into the next one then of arithmetic operators. And you might have guessed it, this is all about kind of adding, subtracting, multiplying two numbers together, which is why I assigned these two variables up here. So what I can do is I can say int calculator equals, so we're using the assignment operator, but now what I'm gonna say is number one um, times number two. And here we're using the arithmetic operator to say Oh, it wasn't num1, it was just num. So num times num2. And if I was to console.log this out, so let's do console.write line calc and hit commit quality, we should see 10 times 2 and it'll output what that calculation is thanks to this arithmetic operator we have just used. So there we go. 10 times 20 is 200. Of course, we can change this to be plus as well if we wanted to. So instead of that being 200, we should see now the output is 30, which we have right here. We also use this arithmetic operator in the second video we went through and we were dealing with variables and types to calculate what our subscriber goal was. So you're already seeing you're using this stuff without maybe even noticing what it exactly was. Now we also have another operator called the compound operator. And let's say we want to increase our calculation by a given number. That that's We'd use a compound operator to do that. So I'm going to say compound operator. And what I can see here is cal uh, plus equals 10. So what this is going to do is it's basically the same as saying calc equals calc plus 10. But it's a nice way to use compounding, the compound operator, to put it all together and make this nice readable line here of plus equals rather than splitting it out and saying calc plus 10. So if I was to get rid of this and hit save and run the code, what we see is 40 is the output number because we've got here our arith arithmetic operator which added that extra 10. So now we're saying 30. So calc is now 30 plus 10. Like I say, you can also do it that other way we just had and you'll see the same output. So if I just comb this out for a moment and like I said, it's 40 there. You can also use the minus equals as a compound operator and that's just going to take 10 away from it. So let's say this now equals 20 because we've done our calc which is 10 plus 20 of 30 and we said take 10 away from me have a play around with this and you can trial different things definitely want to do like a little mini calculator something you could start doing with these now the next one i want to cover is the equality operator and now this is a little bit different because the way I'm going to show this to you is via an if block, which is a conditional, and we haven't covered this yet. So I'm going to explain it to you. I'm not going to go into too much more detail about it. That's going to be covered in one of the next videos. But I'm going to say if calc equals 20, do something. So just the basics of it is if the number, if this calc number equals 20, which is what it is at the moment, as long as we keep this compound operator in there, execute whatever's wrote in this code. So I'm going to say just a simple um, console.write line. Subscribe. So if I run my code, we can see here subscribe has been output. And that's because we've used this equality operator in this if statement to say, if this number, if this variable contains the value of 20, output this line. So if I was to actually um, just comment out this compound operator, now what we should see is calc equals 30, it's still going to output 
the number of 20, but we're not going to see this subscriber count anymore because we've said this variable should equal 20. And notice the difference between the equality operator of double equals and the single assignment operator of equals. If I was to say calc equals 20 here, it throws an error and it's basically saying to us, well, we can't set this number but also in an if statement we're not saying set a number we're saying compare this variable value with whatever value this is here so definitely remember when you're setting or comparing variables setting is always going to be a sign using one equals and when you want to do any comparison or equality checks you want to use the double equals so if I change that to 20 now and run we shouldn't see that console.write line subscribe there we are, it's not there because the value is 30 instead of 20. You can also say things like not equals. So you can use exclamation mark equals. And this means if our number, which we know is 30, is not equal to 20, output this line of code. So in this case now, we should see the console.write line of subscribe turning up. But if I was to re-add this back in, because calc is now 20, this statement is not going to be executed and we will not see subscribe in our console. Awesome. And the last kind of type of operator I wanna show you is logical operators. And once again, I'm gonna use an if statement to kind of show this, but I'm gonna say if num is greater than or equal to 10, which it is because it's 10. Oh, I didn't write equal, I wrote more, minus. So a number is greater than equals 10, so this one is. And, and, which is now our logical operator, num2 is less than or equal to 20. Output something, so I'll say, let's just copy this console.write line, and just so we know it's different, we'll say like and comment. So what we say now is we have num, and this equality operator of num greater than or equal to 10. But we've added this logical operator to say, and if number two is less than or equal to 20, output this. So in this case, we know num, num is 10, so it satisfies this criteria. And number two is 20, so it satisfies this criteria. We should see this console.write line output. And there we are, we've got like and comment. Now, what happens if I change this to 11. Well, we're not satisfying our logical operator anymore because we are saying, e even though number two is less than or equal to 20, number one is not greater than or equal to 11 because it's a value of 10. So this logical operator now is going to be false, which means this line of code is not going to be execute. And there we are, we've got 20 here. Now, what we can do is we could change this logical operator to an OR operator, which basically says, if this statement is correct or true, and this or this statement is true, output this line of code. So what we see now, this whole condition should resolve to true because we know number two is less than or equal to 20, even though num is, is 10, which it doesn't satisfy this criteria. So if I run this, we should see the console line output of like and comment here. And we can even simplify this, right? Because all that's doing is gonna be returning a Boolean of true or false. So I could actually say, let's uh, take all that out, change our console.write line to be this. And now what we're saying is return, return true or false based on our or logical operator. And of course we're doing these equality operator checks as well. So if I run this, we should see it's returned true. And there we are, because that condition has been met. And if I wanted to change it back to and, just to show you a bit more basic version, I can run this and now it returns as false because not both of those conditions have been met. So what we've just done here then is we've done our assignment operators to say int number equals 10 and number two equals 20. We've done some arithmetic operators to actually calculate the total, which this probably could have had a better name of total. We use a compound iterator just to, mit, just to change the total value. And now then, if I even got rid of this one, we've merged a logical operator with an equality operator because we're saying here we want to check the equality, and here we want a logical to make sure it's doing to make sure it satisfies 
both of my conditions because the two ampersands means and and like so the two pipes meant O in this case. Some really basic versions of operators but I'm hoping it's kind of give you the understanding of how you can start kind of fitting your variables together and making those changes. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.